All right, back for round two. We're on the draw this time. We've got a very strong hand. We're going to keep this one. Opponent mold to six, and they scribe to the bottom. We're looking to just power out a turn four Colossal Dreadmaw, give it haste. Seems strong to me. Let's play the Drover first to maximize our mana production. Vanquish the weak. Alright, fair enough. Slows us down a little bit. Frenzied Raptor. Um, so, actually an interesting question of what I play this turn. I think I want to play the Rummaging Goblin first. Because next turn I could go Huntmaster plus Frenzied Raptor, so it's just better efficiency, right? Although, I might just want to go Frenzied Raptor and then next turn Huntmaster plus Cobbled Wings. Yeah, let's do that instead. We can still use our mana, all of our mana. We don't need to start looting too soon anyway, because my hand's good enough as is. Alright, my opponent is off to a very defensive start. But that's fine by me, I think. Let's go Huntmaster plus Cobbled Wings. Next turn, we'll just be looking to haste out the Dread Maw. Well, that's not the best card to follow up your uh, <laughs> your defensive start with. Alright, he's got a 2-1 lifelink. It's not too worrisome. Alright, here we go. Our big finish. So whenever this deals damage, he gets a treasure. Don't really care about that. Looks like he already has his mana sorted out. He's gaining a bit of life a turn, but I think we can outpace that pretty easily with our current configuration. Huh. I just noticed this little interesting combo I hadn't realized before. Alright, Huntmaster down. <laughs> we can use Rummaging Goblin plus Repeated Barrage to essentially pay 5 to draw a card. That's pretty neat. Okay. What's my plan here? Probably just attack and then play out my two creatures. So let me make sure I know how this works. Yeah, so it doesn't need to be in the graveyard when Raid is activated. It just has to be there in our second main in order to use it. Uh, how much do I care about him hitting me again with the lifelinker? I kind of want to block it, but... Yeah, you know what? I don't want you to gain a bunch of life every turn. I'll just put a stop to that and also prevents him from flipping his legion's landing any sooner. Aerosaur. Okay, fair enough. and equip it, presumably. Okay, let's see here. I think I want to start by looting away this land, most likely. See what we find off the top. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and use that. Another dread maw, huh? Um, yeah, I suppose I'll take it. The only problem with that is, kind of would have liked to keep looting away lands, but I guess that's fine won't complain. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and equip. Send in. Put him to eight. And the nice thing here is we can then barrage his face, which will force him to chump next turn with his uh, Shining Aerosaur. And then we can just attack, force him to chump, and get back our barrage, and he'll be at three because of trample. So if he bricks just this one turn, I think he's done. Looks like he might have. Oh, what did he draw? Okay, fair enough. That changes my play slightly. Now I'm actually just going to play Dread Maw. The next turn I can equip it with Cobbled Wings and win that way. again. Alright, not bad at all. My opponent has more removal than my previous opponent. So I was looking at this makeshift munitions as a possible sideboard card actually. I was thinking about it because that's a good way to get use of our creatures if he's uh, removing our stuff every turn. It's an interesting option. It also makes our hunt masters relevant in the late game after he's after like we have no further use for them. So I kind of like that. And maybe we can trim a land again like we did last time. Don't know if it was even correct the last time. That might not be correct here, but I'm a greedy man. So let's do it. Hmm. Sand is sorely lacking in the green mana department, and we sided out of forest. But I'm a greedy man. I'm going to keep. Fusion's landing. Good start. Hmm. That would have been a forest. So maybe that was uh, not the best, but can't be too results oriented. Well, this isn't suspicious at all. Um, but I am interested in looking you up, because if you have a trick, I want to get it out of your hand. Sw uh, yeah, Skull Duggery, that's fine. Alright, it's better than nothing. Let's play the munitions. Should have been a forest. I mean, technically it would have been better to wait until I had the munitions out, but that way I also like prevented him from casting a 3-drop, which he's now going to play. Alright, need to start drawing forest pretty soon. Not the best. What did he hit off that emissary? I wasn't paying attention just to land. Alright, right on time. This is big enough that it's not going to die to his usual removal. If he still has a pious interdiction, that's also fine because then I can use the munitions to throw it at something. Walk the plank, yep, yeah, so my opponent's very heavy on the removal. So I'm definitely fine with the decision to bring in the munitions. Whether it was correct to cut a forest is another conversation. Alright, that was good. Um, let's lead off with the whip tail. And then suit it up. Eh, yeah, might as well. I have the extra mana. Because this way, if he has another removal spell, I can at least uh, stem the bleeding by shooting down one of his one toughness creatures.
Alright, so in response to that, we're going to shoot that, sacrificing this. Alright, I already got my value out of my munitions. Thrash of Raptors, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll play that first. I guess let's start with Commune. See what that hits me. Yeah, I'll take a Ravenous Dagger Tooth. I'll still play the Raptors, I think. I'll just leave up the extra mana in case I need to use the munitions again. Still attacking me, huh? Um. Another Skullduggery would just be a trade. I don't really want to risk it. I guess I'll take it. You might have just been triggering Raid. Dark Nourishment. Alright. See you later. Lifelink token. Alright, definitely happy with that decision now. He only has one card, let's go ahead and slam our giant thing. Let's see if that takes us to the promised land. Queen's Commission is fine. That's not bad. Uh, let's just chip in, play both of our creatures. Feeling pretty comfortable right now. I'm more willing to trade a dagger tooth than my previous creature, so Let's see what this is about. Fire cannon blast triggering raid, okay, makes sense. Alright, not a bad turn for my opponent. Thought we were gonna get super far ahead that turn, but supposedly not. Hmm. Interesting decision here this turn. Let's go with Barrage. Attack for three. If he double blocks, I'll probably save it by sacking the Rubbaging Goblin. Is that right? Would I rather have a Rubbaging Goblin or a Dagger Tooth at this stage in the game? Might be Rummaging Goblin, because that means I can never flood out. I think I have the late game engine online, so you know what? Fine, we can trade. I'll play the Firebrand. Hold up my mana again. Opponent bricked. Draw. I actually want to loot away this Huntmaster. Let's see, what do I have left in my deck that's big? One more Dread Maw, another Whip Tail. Yeah, let's loot. Alright, that's not bad. Let's play it. Pump this guy. And we're just kind of sitting pretty here now. He's going to need to find something pretty massive to get back into this one. Pounce is a good draw. Uh, let's just equip, send with everybody, get back my repeating barrage. Guess I shouldn't have equipped so I could hold up munitions again, but it's whatever at this point. Yep, that was basically just going to be uh, elementary from there, finish, finding a way to finish that game. So yeah, um, still very happy with the way our deck's performing. Let's see if we can cruise to a 3-0 next round.